Be sure and watch part one and part two if you haven't already. Hope you enjoy part three. Just got done adding strength up here in the crawl space. Now we need to install the bearing and lock it onto the shaft. Uh, rotate this, nice fit reed, and then we'll come back and we'll let this bearing float. That way the ceiling can do its thing and it's isolated from the, from the post and the crane. We'll put the column up here. We can stand the column up at an angle or whatever we need to do to get it to come walk around that shaft. Okay, let's put it in. time for the scariest part of the whole build for me and it's getting this base plate flange trued up perpendicular up and down angle twist this has to be perfect because Reed wants this beam to swing outside his garage door and he's given me this much room so if if this thing isn't welded perfectly straight and we bolt this flat to the I-beam it might hit the door <laughs> that is sweet! I love this crane. I wish we'd have had it years ago. It is awesome. The way this worked out is absolutely perfect because now I can actually pick something off the back of my flatbed truck. Uh, I can back it right up to the door, which I've already done, 
and pick it off of it. I will swing it around and I can either put it in the rack or I can put it right on the table. It's absolutely perfect. I also made the festoon where it's not cable. It's actually a quarter inch rod that uh, just gets a bracket on each end, threaded both ends, and just tighten it up. And then I just use uh, chain links and zip tied the cable to it. And it moves really, really nice. It's real simple, really clean. Uh, never a problem, the stuff gets out of the way perfectly. So it'll go all the way to the wall and I can drop something directly right on my mill. The problem I have is that right now I'm using an engine hoist to lift material in and it's really kind of cumbersome to get it from my racks to my table to my plasma table. Yeah. The problem comes in when you get bigger and heavier sheets, it's still hard to slide them over. So I have a problem with that. You know, even if it's pieces, when you're up to like half inch, five eighths, three quarter inch thick material, it's tough. It's hard to do by yourself. And I'm a one man show. That's how it goes on. Piece of cake. Flip it. Oh yeah, it needs to go upside down. Good call, Reed. Yeah. Put it in the bloopers. Please, <laughs> baby. Please, baby. <laughs> I do know how to read a tape measure. Some days. Some days. 143. 143. Now let's see what we got out there. <laughs> Hopefully less than 143.